Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and this is just a quick video uh, for anybody out there who's ever had problems with a damaged uh, like a tripod uh, you know, uh, mount uh, or thread on, on their camera. So whether it's something that's you know, underneath your camera, maybe you know, a big camera like this or a DSLR, uh, whether it's the standard sort of the most common size which is the quarter inch uh, 20 uh, size screw for example the, or the thread that's gotten, gotten damaged or, or maybe the 3 8 um, if you ever had problems, uh, then I maybe, you know, hopefully this video will be helpful uh, to you guys. The reason why I'm doing this is because I actually managed to damage uh, two of the threads here on top of my Blackmagic Ursa Mini camera. So I'm going to basically replace these two threads uh, and it uh, seems pretty simple. Uh, basically got this uh, kit on Amazon uh, for repairing threads like that. Um, and you can even tap new holes or if you want to put threads in something that, that doesn't never had a thread. Uh, then you can do that um, all using this cheap little kit. Uh, so anyways, let me show you how, how I do this. So here's the kit that you're going to need uh, in order to repair the threads. Um, and it comes with a few different things. So let me kind of go one by one. So uh, first thing you have is the tool. This is the tool for uh, basically putting in the, the new threads, which is like a little spring, a uh, little coil. Uh, and you do it by basically putting the tool through there and kind of putting uh, the, the spring here on this little notch. So that's what you're going to use to to do to, uh, to put the threads in there. But first, let's say, uh, like in my case, I actually have already the hole drilled in there and I have it tapped. But let's say you want to put a, this thread into something that doesn't have a, you know, uh, there's even no hole. Well, they provide you with the, with the correct size drill, uh, drill bit. So you drill the hole with this. Then you take this tool uh, and you tap the hole. So you see it has little uh, here, basically, like, like little, you know, basically threads. That will make a hole that's perfect size so that this thing fits on it. So once you drill the hole with this, then you go with this tool and slowly, and you have to actually get another like a handle tool for this thing, or you can use pliers and just carefully you kind of go in there and you turn basically a, a quarter of a turn, then you go back a little and then you go again quarter of a turn and you go back so that you get the little, the, the, the bits of metal or whatever ma the material is that you're cutting into, uh, you can get them out of there. So once you have that hole drilled, then next thing you would do is you would take one of those uh, threads, which is basically nothing more than like a little spring, and you put it on top of this tool. So this tool you'll notice has a little, um, uh, what do you call it, like, like a little notch here. So you basically want to make sure that uh, these springs here, uh, at the tip of them, they have like a, uh, like, a, like a little sort of a metal piece that comes, sticks out. So you want to basically make sure that this goes on there. So once you put it in there, you can see that's kind of how it looks. So it holds basically the spring. And now with this, uh, I can basically put this in there and nicely thread it in there. Once you have that in inside the, the hole that you just tapped, the last thing you want to do is you want to basically take out this little piece uh, because that might block your basically your screw that's actually going in there. And you do that using basically this tool that they provide. Very simple, you basically put that tool in uh, basically from the top of your hole. And all you have to do is you basically, uh, you know, take a hammer or some kind of heavy object and you hit it here uh, and that will basically break off this little uh, piece here at the end. Uh, and that's it. Then you can start using your, uh, your new thread. So here's like this two threads that I basically damaged while attaching something. You notice that these are basically these uh, like coils, these threads, and one of them, because some, the, the, whatever I screwed in there wasn't screwed in all the way to the end to the bottom uh, and you know this I was using this to lift the whole camera up so the weight of the camera lens accessories because of that this whole thing just came out um, and basically got to get broken this one is also right now starting to get broken uh, and it's kind of it came out a little bit so it's not flush anymore with the body so that's why you do want to uh, you know be very careful what kind of screws you're using and if you put something into these threads it's good to put it like all the way to basically to the bottom here so we can't do it anymore because otherwise these you could you could damage these uh, so it's kind of that's the one sort of big negative thing about the camera I would say you see the whole thing just came out and this one too, I think I can take out. Now we have these two holes here. 
that need to that don't have any threads in there so we gotta replace those and just thread it in there okay it's gone inside so now we have a thread in there I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I can take this tool and basically just knock out the end of it here. So I got to take this and something heavier, maybe it could be this handle, like a little hammer or something. So now we should be able to mount this, no problem here. Take this. And looks like it works. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, once again, uh, if you want more information about where to get the kit or uh, you know for any other like filmmaking tips, tutorials, uh, gear reviews, uh, just you know always make sure you go to my website tomantasfilms.com. Uh, and also subscribe to the newsletter so you're notified when I have uh, when I have cool new things basically that are valuable to other filmmakers. Uh, anyways, I'm happy now. The camera I can actually mount this properly and feel that it's I guess I, that it's under safe. And if I attach the top handle, the camera is not going to fall fall off. So um, uh, hopefully, hopefully, no more problems with this in the future. Uh, anyways, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.